Hi, welcome back to the channel, guys. I am Anthony, and this is Tales from the Junkyard. Um, well, today's gonna be the day that we actually start some work on this. Uh, as promised, today's gonna be where we're actually gonna modify this panel to fit the gauges I showed you in the last video. Uh, one other thing I wanna say is that, I don't know if I said it in the last video, but I'm in no way, shape, or form sponsored by any of the things that I'm using here, none of the brands that I'm using. Um, if they want to sponsor me, that'd be great wink but you know otherwise no there's no sponsorship going on this is just me uh doing it on my own dime just trying to make stuff work like i said last time but anyway how about we get this on the road huh now real quick explanation is these uh this is specific to the 1965 uh a model or the a body mopar which is you know barracudas and valiants primarily they had this type of panel now this is a dual gauge panel or a dual circle panel and they used to have it hey, look at that that's pretty cool huh? <laughs> the these things basically have a speedometer and a fuel gauge an amp meter and uh a temperature gauge and that was it that's all you got and then those two those two circles in the middle you see there oh three sorry uh the middle one is you can tell right there that's for the signal light so for the signals all you got was one central uh light that would blink whether you went left or right yeah. uh, you got something I guess and then this this other side here uh, one of the sides here was for uh, high beams and the other one was for a low oil pressure so that's all you got for oil pressure you got a idiot light and that was that's as far as that went and then the hole in the bottom here next to me uh, next to one of these uh, gauge holes is a uh, is for the ignition switch so the ignition switch actually was part of this whole instrument cluster thing so it's all in one type of deal and this is plastic old school plastic so i got to be very careful with the modifications i'm going to make now the reason i'm modifying this as i said earlier but i'll say it again is the holes are in here are way too small to accommodate the gauges or the size of gauges that i got for this they don't make ones that'll fit directly into here uh the gauge itself is four inches and three quarters this hole here is four inches and like but it was like a little bit more than half, just a slight amount. And so it's just not gonna fit. So the nice thing about these uh, rings that you see there is that you see there's a little edge on them. Well, that kind of indicates where I can actually grind down and make the hole a little bit bigger. Now to do this, there are a variety of ways you could do it. You could do it by hand, obviously, and the cut it or whatever you wanna do, but this is really brittle, really, really brittle. I mean, it's. 40, 50 years old. This thing needs to be taken care of uh, as gingerly as possible because, you know, I don't want to try to get another one and you shouldn't have to. So I'm going to show you possibly the easiest way to do this. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I'm going to use. So over here, I got the trusty, trusty Dremel tool. Now you can either use a cutting wheel like one of these to get in between there, you know, one of these things and cut inside of the barrel there so basically let me see if i can get a better angle here there we go so inside of there you can use one of these wheels here to cut in this rim area now if you have a very steady hand you could totally do that no problem the problem with that is it's not super precise you can get carried away and you still have to finish the hole or do the finishing touches on the rim of the hole once you're done cutting and I kind of want to just kill two birds with one stone. So I'm going to use the grinding wheel, this little sandpaper wheel. Now this should take care of both the cutting part of it. I'll have to go a little slower, but at the same time, I'll have more control and it'll finish the actual circle or the, the, the orifice of the tube, um, the orifice of the area, sorry, of the ring here to, uh, to actually accommodate the, the new gauges correctly, directly. <laughs> that rhymed. And it'll just drop right in and it'll look like it belongs there, which is what I'm going for to begin with. So enough talking, let's get to working. All right, so like I said earlier, we're gonna grind down this area here and just get it, see that little space in between the two lines here, right there? I'm gonna cut that down, grind that down. There's actually a little crevice back here. There's like a little channel, you see that? Once I grind that area down, this entire center hole will actually fall out. This entire center um, 
cylindrical area here will actually just fall out. So it makes my life a little easier. It's not a complete piece of plastic that I have to continually ground down. So that's nice. So I take care of some of that. And uh, as always, you should be as safe as possible when you're doing this. You know, wear eye protection, mask, some gloves. You don't want to cut off a finger. Uh, these things spin at an incredibly high rate, so you just want to be careful. Um, I'm using this bag here to try to capture as much stuff as possible. Uh, it makes my life a little easier when it comes to cleaning. And uh, yeah, so let's begin. All right, so I'm gonna pause here for a second just to show you what I'm doing. So now, as you'll notice, it looks a little rough. Don't get excited now. We're gonna finish this off, but just wanted to give you a look of what's going on here. So that area you see that's ground down, that little perimeter there, that's gonna be my score line. So I know how far I can go, how far I should go from here in the inside of radius to the outside radius here. So now I know how far I need to cut. That's my measurement line essentially. And as you can see there, that's what I meant. All I have to do is grind it on a little bit and it'll just pierce through right there. So that's pretty much gonna be it, really. I mean, it's, it should be fairly simple, just time consuming. That's all it really is in the end with these things. But um, yeah, so just wanted to pause there. You can check it out. Pretty simple. Once it should grind through there, this inner piece of the, of the bezel should be able to just pop out. All right, we'll continue on. That's what I was going for. Now I'm not finished with it yet. As you can tell, it's still a little rough. I need to clean up the edge. But that's the inner circle that was in the way, right? So now we got a bigger, look at that. Look at the comparison. It's, you can barely tell, but that right there makes a huge difference. Now I can actually fit the gauges in there, the new ones. So a little bit of time. Obviously I didn't want to melt this thing to heck, but at the same time, you want to take a steady pace, slow. You don't want to melt the, the plastic and then it's a, it's a complete nightmare to work with. Just take your time, follow the line, make sure that you have a plan of attack of where you're going to go, where you're going to start, and then just proceed. Try not to stop and go as much as possible and also let this thing cool as you're going because you will start warping it. So just be careful with that. and. Uh, let me just finish this up and we'll we'll try one of these gauges on there. Okay. All right, so it's cleaned up as best as I can do it. Uh, obviously it's not great, but not bad. I'm no professional, but hey, you know what? Let's give those gauges a try, see if they go in at all. All right. So a couple of things. Uh, my first attempt kind of failed miserably, as you can tell by all the debris that's down there. I had to do a little bit more grinding to get it in, but look at that. It's in. Yeah. Not bad, huh? This thing actually went in. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too severe. It maintained a little bit down here. It sits right where it needs to be and it looks pretty damn straight. So now all I gotta do is repeat this side. Now that I have a template, so I got one side done, I know exactly what I need to do here, so that now I can repeat the process over here. Same size gauges, same size everything, but seriously, way, way, way more uh, trimming than I thought I had to do. But, you know, it's in, so, all right. I'm thinking this, this looks good, so let's keep going. All right, so for the moment of truth, here we go. Cut that edges off, best as I could. Again, not a professional here, <laughs> but I did the best I could. I mean, not too bad, not too bad. But the main thing is making sure they fit. They can look as bad as you want, but the point is to get these 
gauges to fit. So let's see, moment of truth. So we got the speedometer here. Let's see if this fits. Let's put these wires in there here. Okay. So that is... Ooh. Okay. it up. Okay. Just make sure it sits right. Okay. There's one. And then, of course, the multi-gauge pod. And two. All right, look at that. Like a glove. Wow. All right, so here's the deal. I had to do far more grinding than I thought I had to, of course. I mean, what would I expect otherwise? And let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. I like it. Now all I have to do is prep it for paint, obviously clean it up, get it all nice, maybe sand down the edges a little bit more. But, I mean, look at that. I like it looks good fits in there nice and flush sits how it's supposed to be they they go in a little snug which is good that means it won't flop around or when it gets hot and the, this plastic expands the fitment's good they don't wobble around i didn't go too far they stick out just where they need to be this is awesome i love these gauges look at how amazing they look in there perfect once again shout out to new vintage usa for you know recommending these when i placed a call to them they they were very helpful with this again they're not a sponsor i'm not getting sponsored at all in this video but this right here wow these things are amazing they're all full metal look at that they fit perfect i like them well now it's time to take these off again clean up this entire bezel perhaps paint it i'm not sure i'm still debating that um, if I do paint it, I think I'm going to go with like a black back face in it and do some, I don't know, maybe some uh, stainless steel accent as far as paint's concerned. I'm not going to re-chrome this. It's just not worth it at this point. Right now, this is more of a resto, a resto mod kind of a deal. So yeah, uh, next up, I think is cleaning this bezel, debating whether or not I'm going to plane it up, make it all look nice. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do with it. And, uh, yeah, now I have to take the other one apart that's inside the vehicle, check out the wiring, make sure that all goes in, and I think that'll be for the next video. But, yeah, overall, guys, awesome. I think I like it. This is really, really nice. What do you guys think? Do you like this? Did you like did you? what I did? I like it. All right. Well, next I need to do some, uh, some prep work on the actual bezel I'm thinking maybe just clean it up real quick and I might do some sanding yeah get some of this off sand it down real nice and I think I'm gonna go with a black face on it so the middle here back and I'm gonna try to preserve like a stainless steel surround maybe on it I don't know maybe I'll, uh, I'll put some um, chrome trimming on it I don't know yet I'm even debating leaving it like this but for the moment, I think I'm just going to prep it, uh, try to get some of these rings to pop out a little more. These are supposed to be chrome right here. Uh, and of course, these are supposed to be chrome, but that, that ain't going to happen. So, at least not at the moment. So I'm thinking I like it. I'm happy with the result. They fit in beautifully, and now I can move on to actually fitting them into the vehicle. So, yeah. Uh... For now, I think that's is where I'm going to stop. It took me all of three hours <laughs> to get this all ground down the way I'm supposed to. I mean, look, 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 look at this mess. Look, look at this mess. Jesus, Lord almighty. Anyway, so without getting too long-winded, um, yes, I like it. I think it's a success. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like the progress. Let me know if you guys like this style of video um, or this format. If you guys like what I'm doing here. 
Uh, do you have ideas, other things that you want me to do? Is there other things you want me to explain while I'm doing this? Remember to hit like, share, and subscribe, uh, and your bell notifications to get more content like this. So I will continue on this. If you guys like it, let me know, and I will see you next time. Awesome. One more thing, guys, before I let you go. Uh, if you want to check out New Vintage uh, USA gauges and gauge clusters and the products that they have available, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So go ahead and check them out. Again, they're not sponsoring me, but I think they're a good company and they have a lot of good stuff to get offer you. So if you're curious, go check them out. I'll see you next time.